All right, welcome back to the Hobby Bench. We've got the ICOM IC7300 back here in rotation again. And I'll explain why here in a little bit. But I wanted to talk about my current antenna that I'm using here at the house. And that's a TN07 Engineering IMD109, uh, I believe is what it is. It's uh, an impedance matching device, or so they call it, um, with a 66-foot wire. And it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, just recently my contacts here have been west out to Camano Island off of Washington State, uh, Croatia, Italy, Argentina, Costa Rica, Colombia, Portugal, Spain, Italy, just all over the map. I typically like to um, just find DX contacts. I think those are the most fun than really doing stuff local. Um, so I'm going to take you outside and let you see how I set it up and and then we'll come back in here and We'll look at SWRs here at the radio uh, on the 7300 without the tuner and You can see what you know how it presents itself as far as a 50 ohm match to the radio uh, goes so uh, next uh, Segment here. We'll be outside taking a look at uh, my setup. So we'll be right, right so back. here We are outside taking a look at my setup. So this is outside of the shack here. You see the black coax going in there and it uh, just trails up here on the side of the house to a level of nine feet exactly right there she sits there was my little baby and then the wire goes out 66 feet back which basically gets you right back there to the edge of the yard and then from there it's 550 core going out to a tree uh, at its highest point, it's probably about 15 feet. So nine feet at one end sloped up to 15 feet. That's it. And with just that angle, I'm able to get out west and east and north and south with absolutely no problems. And, you know, I live in an HOA, so this antenna is just invisible. If you're not standing right underneath it, you can't even see it. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll just back off of it here. We'll just come out back over here away from it. I mean, look at that. I mean, we're probably standing about 25 feet now from the antenna. And other than seeing the matching resistor right there, it's just invisible. And the farther you go out, I mean, it's just gone. So, yeah. So, let's go back in and take a look at the SWRs. Oh, I forgot to show you. So, I also have a 8-foot um, grounding rod right here, right at the base of the antenna. And I have a ground wire run up there to the matching device. but I do not have it connected. The SWRs are much, much better with it left unterminated. So I just have it folded back there and it's doing nothing. So it's literally just the RG8 coax, probably about 20 feet of it or so, uh, terminated to the matching device, and that's it. So let's go back in and take a look at the SWRs and we'll we'll see where we're at. All right, here we are back inside and uh, Right now we're on the 10 meter band. So we'll just start with that one. So we'll go down here and we'll go to uh, SWR and then we'll go ahead. Now I just had the power set down to, what do I have the power set down to? Uh, 10%. All right, so power is set at 10% right now. And we'll go ahead and just key this and look at it. See the tuner is off. And let's see what our SWR is. There you go, you see that? Less than 1.5 to 1 with no tuner. All right. Let's go to uh, 12 meter. And we'll look at that. There we go again. Less than 1.5 to 1. No tuner. Let's go to um, 15 meter. And there we go again. Just over 1.5 to 1. And, oh, I didn't want to do that. All right, let's go to uh, 17 meter. And look at it there. Very low. Look at that. Almost perfect on 17 meter. All right, let's go to 20 meter. What, 1.5 to 1 at 20 meter. Let's go to, uh, let's see, let's go to 40. There we go, a little bit over 1.5 to 1 on 40. 
and then let's go to 80 meter and we'll see 80 this is the highest that VSWR I've got with no tuner is 80 meter so we're creeping up there towards 3 to 1 on 80 meter but let's go ahead and turn the uh, tuner on and let's see what the, what it does now with the tuner on all right here we go look at that flat so the icom 7300 as well as my yesu ft710 up there and my yesu ftdx10 have absolutely no problems tuning uh to just a flat swr with this uh tn07 engineering antenna it's just fantastic all right well let's go back to we'll say um 40 meter and we'll turn the turn the tuner on we'll take a look at it again look at that again just flat absolutely flat can't ask for anything better than that and let's go to um back to 20 we'll turn the tuner on there we go again absolutely flat all right let's go to uh 17 turn the tuner on there we go another flat response for vswr let's go to uh, let's go back to 15 turn the tuner on flat again can't ask for more than that let's go back to 12 meter turn the tuner on flat across the board okay let's go to uh 10 meter again turn the tuner on flat fantastic an antenna now i typically run um oh, i typically run uh 80 watts on my output power uh so let's just go up put that back over there i don't want to forget it there we go. Okay, yeah. So there you go, folks. I mean, if you're looking for a good HOA antenna that really just, I mean, invisible from a distance, uh, look no further than uh, the TN07 Engineering IMD109. It's a fantastic antenna. Yeah, I, I, I'm impressed with it. I love it. I've got a, a, a couple of other, um, we'll call them, I mean, I don't know what um, is inside the uh, impedance matching device i mean is it a nine to one is it a 49 to one who knows what it is um, i've got a couple of other um nfed half wave antenna setups um, but this one by far since i uh, discovered tn07 engineering and took a shot at one of his antennas i think his name is bob if i remember right um a uh, fantastic guy too uh, very uh, fun to talk to. He, he's actually also in aviation like I am. And so we got a lot of common there. We've had a couple of really lengthy, uh, great conversations about airplanes and, and radios and such. Um, so yeah, um, great antennas. Can't say anything um, bad about it, my experience with it at all. And uh, if you're looking for a decent HOA antenna, give it a shot. Not very expensive. Um, definitely worth it. So I hope that helps somebody out that's uh, in a HOA like I am and looking for something that's a little bit more discreet. Look no further than this antenna. All right, so 73s, everybody. We'll see you next time.